This week's episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Fantasy All White, featuring Dexter Daps and 450. Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, November 27, in West Palm Beach, Florida. For tickets and info, visit their Facebook or Instagram page at Mr. Mac Events. What caused Lisa Hyper's recent meltdown on camera and sudden baptism? The Gaza First Lady will be here to answer those questions and more. Veteran dance old toaster Big Youth is set to make a rare appearance in Jamaica in November and comes to our stage to chat the gig. Also gracing our stage, the poet Yasas Afarai to chat new projects. All coming up right here on our stage and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Winfred Williams. We'll be back. This week's episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Fantasy All White, featuring Dexter Daps and 450. Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, November 27, in West Palm Beach, Florida. For tickets and info, visit their Facebook or Instagram page at Mr. Mac Events. On stage with Winford Williams. And we're back with Top Stories, making our stage this week. Over the years, Buju Banton and Beris Hammond have drawn massive forwards whenever one calls on the other for a cameo moment during live performances. Like this. Come January 1st, 2021, those explosive moments will go beyond a cameo for Beris and Bojo as the two iconic reggae warriors join forces to present a special concert in Jamaica with equal headline billing for each. Launched at the Rock Hotel downtown Kingston on Thursday, the show is dubbed Intimate, the concert, set for Grizzlies Plantation Cove in St. Anne with supporting acts, Lust, Marcia Griffiths, and more. We want to start the year right, because if you start right, chances are you can end right. If you start wrong, even in your business, your life, your relationships, think about it. You start wrong, you end wrong. Since 2019, I haven't danced. I want to dash and fling some foot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do, but I want to fling some foot. So come the 1st of January, I cordially invite the world, I cordially invite my people, Bojo Bank and Barry Summer, Lust, Sister Marshall Griffiths, among others, shall be here to give you a night, not of rumble, justness, but one of serene enjoyment and entertainment. Something that Jamaica is predominantly known for, clean entertainment where you leave. Ever no one dances, I hear a man sing a song like all. This one is for love and stars. <laughs> yeah, and the man will have a woman and whisper her ears and say, hey, you're that baby. <laughs> <laughs> so intimate, it's not political, it's musical. Yeah, so we are from Slovenia. We are over Jam Reggae Festival. It's an international festival. We have stars from Jamaica every year and we're doing it in August, 16 to 20 of August. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, this year we're gonna bring more Jamaican artists, some of the legends and some of uh, young names. So that's why we came to, to Jamaica. Bunju Banton already played in uh, our festival and he liked it very much. And he just said he wants to come back again in 2023. Nobody of us uh, been to Jamaica before. We said, okay, it's time to go and see where everything, all the love is coming from. Oh. <laughs> all the love, eh? All the love. So ladies, the love that you spoke of uh, in reggae, you guys are big fans, I take it. Yeah, definitely. First of all, I would like to say that being in Jamaica and listening to reggae music, dancehall music, everywhere, in every corner is amazing. We spent some time with Yaksta the other day, we spent some time with Vizadon and other young 
artists and it's really great to know this youth, these people that are really bringing a new vibe to the reggae music. It looked good to me already. Yeah. So I hope everybody come out to smash our violence free. Everything nice to me as a very someone and Bush and friends. So that means uh, include myself. I'm excited for many different reasons. It's nice to kind of grow up with somebody like Buju. Shared so many songs with him and say that he's home and he's doing this incredible you know January the first. What can I say about Bears? It's a great way to start the new year. The event is absolutely titled Internet. We need to bring back to our poets and that is what this event will do. Barry's Hammond. Everybody loves Barry's voice and his hit songs. And Bujo, in spite of Bujo controversial comments at times, he's a great writer and a great performer. Yes, well I think it's a great way to start the new year, you know, with artists who are dealing with positiveness. To start off the new year, we love it, man. It's a good vibe. The show is intimate, so you know we have to get intimate with everyone. But I just want to say big respect to Bujabanta and Uncle Barry. The first day, the first month of the year, it's beautiful. Stay tuned to On Stage for more on this intimate January 1st concert over the coming weeks. That same Thursday night at the lot on Constant Spring Road, the launch of Skeng's first body of work, an EP titled Beast of the Era. The Protocol singer was joined by scores of fans, co-workers and industry players who helped ring in the project, which became available at midnight Thursday. Wish I could be there to celebrate with y'all, but I will be there really, really soon. Stars and Rust, the Jamaican stage show that features veteran Jamaican artists, makes its return on November 26th at Ronnie Williams Entertainment Center in Kingston. Headlined, believe it or not, by no other than big youth, <laughs> okay? Big youth, who we have not seen in Jamaica for quite some time now. And right now, right here on our stage, to tell us more, no other than West Rock, who is a member of the promotion team for this Stars of Us new series. Yes, sir? Welcome. Welcome, West. <laughs> well, I, I may need to, I may need for you to, I just said, who is part of the team? Is there more to this than than just being part of the team. Of course, um, you know, West Rock is an artist. Yes. And uh, we do have a promotional company, um, 360 Global. Okay. And um, it is stars are us alongside with um, 360 Global Entertainment Company. Okay. Who are actually putting on this event this ah, year. I see. So, so the, your, your interest in it is bigger than just you, yes. one of the... Of course. Okay. And I understand, before we get into to, uh, the lineup and the show at yes. Ronnie Williams, I understand that you may be touring the, the, the series too? Of course. Um, you, you, there is an appetite for authentic Jamaican music, mm -hmm. you know? And um, from what we have researched and have found out that since the pandemic two years ago, um, we have not had a show like this. Yes. So um, since we have announced that we'll be having this show in Jamaica, um, other parts of the world have become a little jealous. Miami to be exact, mm. and I'm sure it's spreading right across. So we're looking forward after this show to extend it beyond our borders. Oh, nice. Yes. That's good. Then those fans of the music in, in, those, in those cities, well, I, you, Miami at the moment, but I it's going further afield if you can, right? Yes. Wouldn't you be going into other cities if necessary? Of course, necessary? of course. Okay. Um, the sky is the limit, yeah. you know, because we can't afford for such um, a music like this. And the icons that are still alive and are willing to share 
we have an audience that um, has this strong appetite for this music, so we have to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. So get into this Ronnie Williams now. Yes. Uh, big youth. Big youth. Ooh, yes, big youth headlining. That's, that's a jump out for me when I saw the, uh, the poster. Because I'm trying to remember when last we saw him on a stage in Jamaica. Well, yeah, it, it, it is quite a long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, when I spoke with him about his appearance, he was so enthusiastic about it. Yes. And um, the, the response that we have received so far is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So the 26th of November is going to be uh, an historic moment for Jamaicans. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I can tell you that it is one of the most anticipated show now. Okay. By all re recollection. Oh, wow. So the, yes. the, um, the, the response has been? Tremendous. Wow. Tremendous. So tell us, who are some of the other headliners? Well, we have a wonderful lineup um, um, with um, Ken Booth. Um, we have Leroy Sibbles. We have Derek Morgan. We have Johnny Clark. We have Jar George Nooks. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, Persons like Robert Sargent, we have uh, Patrick Badu, Jem Myers. You know, those are just a few of the um, persons who are lined up for this show. It's going to be a very huge um, show. So we're hoping that everyone will come out on that day. Try to come out early because there are going to be some early birds tickets. Okay. And not, and not to mention West Rock. Not to mention West Rock. <laughs> You know, West Rock is the best rock. Uh-uh, you know that. So all of you who, didn't, who have never seen West, West Rock in action live on a stage, this is your opportunity, right? Quickly now before we go about your, your own career. Oh, where is it now? Sum it up for us. Well, we know you did some fest. I, I, we did Recently, some fest. Yes. And then out of some fest, you know, the fan base has grown tremendously. Mm -hmm. The demand for West Rock and West Rock music um, both locally and overseas has grown tremendously. You will realize that West Rock tried to hold me. Um, I just um, hit number one on the iTunes. Mm -hmm. And um, the growing demand for shows of West Rock, you know, traveling overseas and, and performing. Just came back from Chicago and um, it You're was rocking West. I'm, I'm rocking West. I'm rocking West. And, and there's uh, a lot coming. There's really a lot. And, and, yeah. and um, you know, we, we spoke about the music and, and the roots that we have to go back to. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have to spread love across. And this is why West Rock is actually, as we speak, has set up his um, foundation. And um, we're trying now to set this foundation for the actress youths. Yes. So part proceeds of this Stars Are Us will go towards that foundation. Mm -hmm. So we have to care for the children. We have to care for the youngsters because we're going to lose direction and we're going to have a sad Jamaica if we continue on that path. Well, West, we look forward to November 26th yes. at Ronnie Williams Entertainment Center, yes. sir, where you will be rocking and be rocking. so many other veterans will be in concert. Yes. Later on, though, we're, we, the, the man is here, your headliner. Yes. Big youth is there. So later on, he's coming up right here on our stage. You'll be talking to us. Yes. The S90 Skanka. X <laughs> yes. Indeed. Okay. And I really look forward to seeing you there. Oh, yes. I'll be there, man. I'm for sure. I'll be there, West. Yes. Okay. So there you have him in this segment, the man. West Rock. Rocking Stars Russ. Taking mm -hmm. it on tour. Wow. And as mentioned, Still to come right here on our stage, the man himself, the headliner, big youth. <laughs> okay, you'll be here. But before that, what caused Lisa Hyper's recent meltdown on camera? And veteran the poet Yasus Afari chatting new projects. All coming up. We'll be back. This week's episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Fantasy All White, featuring Dexter Daps and 450. Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, November 27, in West Palm Beach, Florida. For tickets and info, visit their Facebook or Instagram page at Mr. Mac Events.
On Stage with Winford Williams. She came to our stage in May to pay tribute to Marianne Hall with a mashup of some of the former dancehall queen's baddest secular tracks. Fast forward to October 20, Lisa Hyper suffered a meltdown during an IG Live. A week later, the Gaza First Lady released a video sharing her baptism. Hallelujah. Wow. Right now, right here on our stage, Lisa Hyper. Lisa. Thank you, thank you. Always welcome. Thank you. Always good to have you, my dear. Thank welcome, you. welcome, welcome. Thank you welcome. very much, Winford. Okay, so let's kick off with what caused the, the meltdown. What can you tell us about it? Well, honestly speaking, I was going through a spiritual battle, mm. and I felt like I was going to die. And God said, for most, just come to him. The only thing that can save me is him. Only person can save me is him. So I did just that. Oh, really? Yes. Did you seek professional advice? No, that's the advice I got. That's, that, that's the advice Otherwise, I Otherwise, I mean, apart from that God yes, telling you. Yes, 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 yes. You did? Yes, yes, before yes. that or, or No, or not subsequent? before, after. After? After, yeah. Okay. So how are you feeling now? I'm good now. I'm better. Yes. And I'm getting better and better and better. Is there anything else you can tell us about how you got to that, that space, that, that feeling? I had a lot on my, uh, my I, I just had a lot on my mind. Okay. I had, I, you know, it's a, it's a lot. I can't, I can't explain it, but mm -hmm. it, it was a lot. A lot it was of a lot. Burden, burden on your mind that you're trying to resolve? Yes, a lot. It's a lot. Oh, wow. But did you want to share it at the, at the time you, yes, you went Yes, I by? did. What I did, I wanted to do. You want to share it with yes, the public? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. And a week later, you, you baptized? Yeah. So are you now a Christian? You can say that. Mm -hmm. You can say that, but I didn't do it to become a Christian. Mm -hmm. I didn't baptize just to become a Christian. I baptized because my life was at stake. Yes. That's how I felt. But in Christendom, they <laughs> surrender yourself to the Lord. That's, that's what they say. Uh, did you surrender? Yes, I did. Your soul to Christ? Yes, I did. Okay, so why wouldn't you say you're a Christian? Is it the, 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 the whole thing? I don't, I don't really want to do the religion, religion. I don't really oh, want to go me. into that. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to go into that part mm -hmm. of it. Okay. And so you, so now you're, you, and after that baptism, what relief did you ex experience? Did you? The best relief ever. The best relief ever, mm. ever, ever, ever. It's the greatest thing I've ever done. Oh, wow. Yeah? For me, yeah. So have you been, are you connected to a congregation? Yeah, I am. My pastor is Dr. Reverend Otis Manning. Uh huh. So you've been attending yes, church? Yes. Okay. What are people in the congregation saying to you? Did they There's embrace so you? They show me love. Yes. We are a loving people. We're peaceful, we're happy, we just show each other love and care for each other. Uh huh. Yeah. So is this a turn in your life now? You're a more spiritual person now? I've always been a spiritual person, but yes, I'm more spiritual now. So going forward, how does, will that affect your behavior in terms of your artistry yes. and the, your life in general? It's just some adjustments to be made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just some adjustments. It won't, affect, it won't affect my life or affect my artistry. I just need to make some adjustments, and I'm doing just that. So you were always a girl close to? God. A God-fearing yeah, girl. Man, right? Yeah, man, why do you think I reached thus far? Yes. So it's not hard for you to make that no, transition man, at all? No, man, no, man. God carry me here, so I'm there right now. Mm -hmm. If not, God take me so far for leave me. OK. So you've been recording since, right? Yes. This, 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 uh, this, this moment in your life, this this dreadful moment, and also 
a happy both. moment. Both. Happy it, and dreadful. It's like an emotional happy, yes. roller coaster because yes. the emotions are just all over the place right now. And you're expressing the roller coaster experience yes. in music, aren't yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. And, and so, so music. So what are you working on? An album, an EP, what? I have three albums sitting on. Oh. Yes. I'm going to release the album called The Empath first. And then I release The Phoenix because The Phoenix was supp supposed to be released before The Empath. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to release The Phoenix after The Empath. But some of these were, were, the before, were, were yeah, before, done before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but um, so, what are some of the new new stuff? I just recorded a gospel song a um, couple of days ago. Um, it's gonna be the first. Well, I would say gospel song, but they, that's what they're gonna call it. Yes. So yeah, and I'm excited. I've been had that song in my head and wanted it to get out, and I'm just excited that I finally got it out and people are going to be hearing a different side of me. Uh-huh. Do you know what is interesting about all this? When you did that tribute to... To Marianne Hall. To Marianne Hall, you were really using the music of Lady Saw. You used the, the mashup that yeah, you did. Yeah. was the Lady Saw mm -hmm. um, side of Maria. Yeah. And... Uh, so you weren't, you know, the tri so the tribute was that. Yeah. But no, <laughs> just, just it months later. It had the whole different side. Yes, you're now, go you're over the, to where God she is. God works in mysterious ways. This yes. is what I'm saying. This is God. God, this is, I just saw God work. I just saw Father God work, Queen Ford. Oh. We never plan it. We never plan it, you know. So, I, I, have you heard from her since? No, I haven't heard from her, but that's okay because I understand. And yes. with the love we have for each other, it's beyond just a phone, a phone call or checkup. It's way beyond that. So, I'm, I'm okay and she's okay. I just want to know that she's all right mm -hmm. and me all right. Did you not have bookings prior to this? I had a couple, but no, it's a lot because I'm going to England. I have a birthday party coming up in England. My birthday is coming up, and so I'll be touring England for November and December. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a show with Skeng also. I have a few things in the pipeline. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, Sting? Are you doing Sting? I turned it down at first call, but I think I'm going to... Reconsider? Reconsider, yeah. Okay. So Isaiah and Heavy them should be yeah, happy. Yeah, man, I'm a people them same way. Okay. I'm a people them. So Sting, December. Yeah. Maybe that's when we will see you yeah. on a stage yeah, in yeah, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, At Sting, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And family and everybody all right? Family all right, everybody all right. They're just worried about me. Yes. Everybody is just worried about me. And could you assure them that... I'm fine, I'm great. That and that's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to do, oh, yeah. assuring them that I'm fine. Because ah. you're in good spirit. You came in here in good spirit. You've been thank in. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. And very everything. Much. So, thank you, you, you very you're, much. yeah, I can attest to that, that you're, you know, you're acting thank and you sounding much. fine. Thank you very much. We're happy that you are okay. Thank you. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. Stay <laughs> safe and focused, Lisa Iper. Thank Don't want to lose, you know. Thank you very much. Too much, much is happening in the space in dance hall right That's now. That's true. Too much. Just That's too true. much. And so, yes, my dear. So, walk good. Thank All you. the very best. Thank you and for And thanks again me. for coming. Ah, bless you. All right, so there you have her in the segment of our show. Lisa Hyper. Still Lisa Hyper. And uh, still to come, big youth. But before that, veteran the poet. Yasus Afari, chatting new projects. This week's episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Fantasy All White, featuring Dexter Daps and 450. Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, November 27, in West Palm Beach, Florida. For tickets and info, visit their Facebook or Instagram page at Mr. Mac Events.
On Stage with Winford Williams. Here is now veteran dub poet Yasser Safari to chat new projects, including the recent staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival at the AC Marriott, a new album, and the 20th staging of poetry in motion. Right now, right here on our stage, Yasser Afari. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Been a little, a, a little while, yes, sir. But yes. <laughs> always good to have you, sir. Always a pleasure, my brother. All right. So, so you think look bossy to <laughs> fix up since the last time we come here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. And congratulations on all these great yeah, things man. you're doing, sir. Thank you, thank you, man. And to and all the, you know all the great things that you've always been um, aspiring to give us, and you're doing that now. You're you're. You've realized, we've been talking now for over 20 years, and you have re realized a lot of what you say you want to do, you are actually doing, sir. And congrats on all these great things. So talk about that festival for us, first of all. First it's of a 12 all. annual staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival. We did it at AC Marriott Hotel on the 14th of August this year, mm -hmm. featuring people like Monty Alexander, Skip Marley, Professor Mervyn Morris, Marjorie Wiley, the parliamentary, Poet and Poet Laureate of Canada, George Elliott Clark, Ebony Payne from the USA, Michael Abrahams, Kai Faulkner, Mark Stevenson, and certainly myself, and a few others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was exceptionally successful. We had an art display, we had a creative arts workshop, uh, we had a dinner, of which 100% of the proceeds went to the deaf community, and we had a deaf poet, and we had deaf interpreters to facilitate and to empower the deaf community, as well as the, the, the performance. So we had from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m., and it was very successful and, and good quality production, good performances from everyone. And it was really something heartening to see, and we want to thank AC, plus all the sponsors and performance, and the media support that we got uh, to bring off a successful 12th annual staging of Jamaica Poetry Festival 2022. Okay, so it's sort of defined for us they, some of who we, we never knew were poets, but you, like, like Monty. But, but, but listen, <laughs> but for, so, so we, <laughs> don't forget this, you know. I want to say this right here, so. Every song is a poem set to music, uh, by definition, by the, universally uh, accepted. This is what I'm saying. So it's good that you brought that in and called these names. So what poetry so does, you know, yes. poetry represents the poetry of life. Mm -hmm. So we nurture and embrace the entire family and spectrum of the creative and performing arts. Yes. All right. And the album now. It's been a while we haven't heard an album from you, yeah. sir. Yeah. So, so this has been in the making for how long? For a little while. Uh, but first of all, we did a project in 2020 mm -hmm. called Dub Poetry in Your Face, yeah. which featured Muta Baruka, Jean Breeze, Benjamin Zephaniah, DYCR, Professor Edward Barr, Kabu Mahat Keru, among others. And then the pandemic came and shift the focus, so. <laughs> <laughs> the pandemic? Yes. Okay. Me <laughs> didn't say, me not say scam them, me say plan. <laughs> um, so what happened now is that this album has been in the making for a little while. And um, in earnest, we started working in focus maybe the past three years. And, and so we have an album which is unprecedented, eclectic, and it harmonizes dub with poetry. It features the chairman of the board himself, uh, Barry Hammond, as well as Aine Kamuzi, the hot stepper, as well as a Jamaican bass in Ghana called Tana Hope, and my 10-year-old daughter called Mick. Mm -hmm. And this song with yes. him, plain and simple. Let me tell you that plain and simple. Where the media afraid of like she's, push afraid of water. <laughs> are afraid of like oh, nasty people afraid of water. So, <laughs> and you know why? Because yeah. we say you can't violate for your temple. So it looks like the society interested in violating people's temple. And look what the society in and out. Yeah. So this thing refocus on them. The album coming out on the 25th by VP to the Vibal brand on the 25th. But they have some teasers taking place from Friday Plain and simple with my daughter will be available on all the digital platforms. When are you going to bring her to, to our stage? In time, you say the word. All right. And Good. then now, the, the 11th, 
the song with the hot stepper, Heineken music called What a Sin Thing. Mm -hmm. And then on the 19th, the tease will be the Kojo himself with a song called Africa, We Love You. And then the album Dash Up on them. You should tell about Kojo is Beres, right? Beres, how man, the chairman <laughs> of the board. Okay, the chairman. <laughs> Yeah, man, the love doctor we call him. <laughs> yeah, the, the lovers are king. Uh, yeah. All right, so the, um, and the, and so the big festival coming up. Um, when is it? What's the date? The unprecedented, historic 20th staging of Poetry in Motion mm -hmm. on Sunday, February 26th at the Manchester Golf Club in Mandeville, which was established in 1865. It is the old in, oldest golf club in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. And so we are the most successful and far-reaching and impactful annual poetry festival in the colorful history of Jamaica, yeah. 20 consecutive years. Mm -hmm. So it's good company. Mm -hmm. And so we have a good support from the municipality. We have international artists booked already. And we're rolling it out, Red Card to Pafir, Ecumenical Service, Community Outreach. We have a dinner. We're supporting the Manchester Infirmary, as well as the Hanbury Home for Children, as well as Friends in Need. So we, we love to use the art to support the community, especially mm -hmm. the vulnerable people. And we'll be doing that. We did that with the, the Jamaica Poetry Festival. We're doing that at, at, at um, Poetry in Motion on Sunday, February 26th at the Manchester Golf Club in Mandeville. We start. 10 a.m. in the morning with a reasoning temple. We have the African Bazaar, and then we have the red carpet at 5 p.m. and showtime 6 p.m. How have recent events impacted poetry, and, and in particular, the poetry? Well, listen, as of 2018, the spoken word generally, poetry included. And, we, and by that, let me explain what I mean. And we're talking about events, political events, we're talking about, like, as you call it, pandemic. <laughs> yeah, because when and these things, things happen, yeah. you know, you always rely on poetry and the cultural, stable art forms and personalities. Mm -hmm. For example, when you had apartheid, the cultural music was in greater vogue. Mm -hmm. But when the people didn't have no struggle for address and for, and for use them creativity for address, then they get cut off in some like a punky, freaky thing, mm -hmm. as, it's, as what is happening largely speaking, not just yes. in Jamaica, but elsewhere. So now that this situation happened, people start to introspect and start to realize that we, we for example, the, 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 the Grammy include poetry you now, but they include two interesting categories, one for empathy and social responsibility. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. Even the same year what they introduced, introduced poetry. And you would have known that Spotify made a pronouncement about 2019, that poetry is a new frontier. Yes. Live Nation decide that they want to stream um, um, poetry. And then Google uh, celebrated Miss Lou during her centennial year. Mm -hmm. So that shows you clearly that the international community, uh, generally speaking, recognizing. And uh, you see what Amanda Garman did at, at Joe Biden's inauguration, yeah, oh, yeah. just reading from a piece of paper, wow. stealing the show from everybody, mm -hmm. including the president of America. Mm -hmm. So essentially now, now that the demise of dance hall has taken place and reggae music has been hijacked and we don't run away from a long time, poetry, and specifically dub poetry and dub, offers us the, 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 the possibility and the opportunity to recalibrate, reset, and realign the minds of the people with our mandate, even the mandate of advancing the welfare of the entire human race. Yes. And so we have to get forward to business. You are a co-worker, we need the media, the, po the political people them who in the parliament making trouble, they have to go pull up them socks and tighten them belt and, and do everything necessary. We are a great people, unprecedented in human recorded history. We are the only people who have impacted the prevailing culture of, uh, the, the prevailing culture of a civilization mm -hmm. as a people who literally just have come out of Brightland chain. Mm -hmm. And so we have a great music that should be used to uplift and empower the people and to heal the people. Oftentimes, some of the music where even our people are create is not even music, it's Mexic. <laughs> and the music is supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Mexic? Yes. Wow. Make the people them sick yeah. and sicker when the music was given to us as healing and empowerment and upliftment, my brother. We are a people who were killed and crucified and buried into the sepulchre of death and captivity. We refuse to die. 
So we leave that debt must die. And these talents that have been given to us are the things that uplift and empower the people. It bleeds my heart. That's why I was talking to Lisa Hyper earlier. And I was talking to you that we need to do a symposium. Bring all everyone. Zoom in all vice cartel from captivity. Ninja Manto. Mm -hmm. Get all our youth to win him. Rygin King. Squash. A crocodile teeth. I <laughs> water, intense. We now left none of them and the cultural people, the general himself, the, 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 the um, bounty killer, Beanie Man, the Buju Bantan, the Sasko, and we come together and look at the music. What is this we have gotten? Who are we as Jamaicans? What can we do with this gift to uplift the downtrodden, the dispossessed? to protect the vulnerable and with children and with women. When we as a society are killed with women and with children, you know, it's a punk and freak business, you know. Mm. And look how we gifted. Look how we talented. Oh, wow. Look how we blessed. Yeah. Look how we favored. Are we living to that responsibility? To whom much is given, much is required. Are we living up to that? We have been the victims of what we call neuro-linguistic sorcery. So our music and our poetry brings forward neuro-linguistic healing. Mm -hmm. Nervous system, neurons, mm -hmm. linguistic language. So the language that you speak shape your thinking. Every time you hear a word, every sound vibration reconfigure your neurons. So therefore the people use now, look on all a word like all, dedicate. You eat to keep yourself alive and call it diet. Then press you down, then call it oppress. Neuro linguistic sorcery. So we have the music to reset. Dub out the folly, dub in positivity. That's why we say we are dub poet. And so. <laughs> no, 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 and so we need to get to work on that, my friend, because I believe it can make a, a major difference in how we're living and some of the challenges we're seeing right now in our space, especially in the music space. Thank you so much, Yasas. My brother, you're most welcome. Thank you. Keep up the good work you're doing. Bless up to the crew. Jason, all the on-stage family. Yeah. Keep it real, honor, love, and prosperity. All right, sir. Blessed love. Yes, sir. So there you have him in this segment of our show. Yasos Afari. Wow. Now, when, when, when you hear the dates for these events, make sure you're there. No matter what we and we just turned, huh? <laughs> and stay with us. Still to come, Big Youth. We'll be back. This week's episode of On Stage is brought to you in part by Fantasy All White, featuring Dexter Daps and 450. Thanksgiving weekend, Sunday, November 27, in West Palm Beach, Florida. For tickets and info, visit their Facebook or Instagram page at Mr. Mac Events. On stage with Winford Williams. He's mostly known for his tremendous body of work during the 1970s, but has never ever not relevant in reggae globally. And is right now on our stage as the headliner for Stars of Russ, alongside some of the biggest names of that foundation era of Jamaica's music. We're talking about no other than Manly Augustus Buchanan, O.D., a.k.a. <laughs> Big Youth. <laughs> yes. Or Jayut. Uh, whatever. The absolute. Great. Absolute. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. <laughs> We're on stage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big youth. It's so, it's so great to have you, sir. Yeah, it's an honor. It's oh, an honor. Oh, my goodness, Reggie. Yeah. Not look, never happened before all the time. Nothing changed about you, my friend. You look just like in the 70s. Sure. That's <laughs> Young, why I'm same way. That's Agile. Why. As oh. the youth. As oh, the youth. wow. Youth. Ever yeah. youth. Yes, sir. First of all, explain for us why you're so scarce in Jamaica. 
And more time when we do something like uh, for free, uh, we're going to do the Dennis Brown thing for the yes, water. We, front, yeah, uh, yeah. That. Things take a, ch a change too, you know, mm. in the music. Sometimes uh, you, you just stay and watch because it's like children live what they learn. Mm -hmm. But some of, the, some of what they learn don't even make them earn because yes. it's moving in the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Needs correction, ain't it? <laughs> yes. I, but so you obviously you sit and observe what I go on. You're not pleased with the direction the music is taking. The people them so half-sided, one-sided. That more time when they say something, them take a misinterpretation. Some of these youths, brethren, you know, some of them is out of tune. Some of them have some nice vibes. Yes. You have to accept changes, you know. Sometimes them say, boy, they make some music, but at the life where them are live, so it's all natural. So if, if, if them see the wrong way around them, because we never seen a joy, the joy was near the road. Mm -hmm. When we come and say, live it up, ja. Mm -hmm. Yeah? It was the same crime and violence. So more time you see, so them make a big thing out of it. And it's the same thing, mm -hmm. and the same thing, Great Bob Marley used to sing Rudy come from jail and Rudy get bail and frame him and you say him the thing. They were, they're spitting, they were spitting their truth. Natural. And, and you're saying the, 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 the now generation, they are spitting their reality too. Yeah, because it's, it's the life where them live. But me can say to them, mm. you must change your ways from evil and do good. Yes. Because we did grow up in the same thing, and I mean, could I tell the youth them, say, if you never go to jail, you couldn't go to court. And if you don't go to court, you can't face the judge, and there will never be no grudge. And we are the original dancer. Yes. No question, no doubt about it. We make, we make rap go on if you talk like that, if you say so. So, yeah, we was rapping 50 years ago to, 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 to guide. My peers, because all we know about violence, some of we are victim of environments, because mm -hmm. most of these youths are just playing victim of environments. Yes. Yeah? And money helps some people and money corrupts some people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because if you have it, you don't share it. You can't give everything, but you have to get the needy and sing, sing the truth, make the youth them all just love Ray Ray and Ray Ray. Because if you teach them, because music is a platform for teaching, you know. I don't know how a guy feel, say, him Ray Ray. Because enough of them make some record and you hear it play, but if you see them live or perform it, you wonder what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Fighting. I don't fight no one, but I don't deal with no music or not reading the truth that in years to come, you can say, yeah, you know, me feel proud when I see some people write and say, boy, if one of people like you, me that take up the gun and me that they end up in prison, and me wouldn't do that. But you tell me if I make love and not make no war, because we are ugly and love, lovely. Mm -hmm. So come on, no man, like how, like how you have the youth them come. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry for these youths, you know. But I see, I see, I see the government talking and the commissioner speaking about the, 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 the age group that are committing crimes. Mm -hmm. And a whole heap of people, all kind of organization around them. But none of them won't face the facts, say. Eh? It's children having children. So most of these youths who are keep up for them are keep up. They don't have no parents, brethren. Mm -hmm. Hey, Winfred, I'm for your platform and you say how far I'm going because I'm concerned. Take, take the can out of it. I observe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I observe the nonsense. Let me tell them youth, man, wake up, man, because you can't do it. You can't do it because I watch a little picnic them, man. So, some of them stay so. And every, 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 every vulgarness, every stupidness, every killing we want to sing and preach. Them look a picnic and sing it, man. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing a joy in it. 
Like when we come and say S90 is crank, you know, for ride like lightning, and you will crash like thunder. We say all of the picnic, them and everybody, and we create a dance, them chat about how we did start the whole dance group business, and ain't nothing new, but a difference. Mm -hmm. Within the difference. So, 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 though you, in your era, you were exposed to the same and the lack of food. And you grew up in the village of the underprivileged yeah. brethren. So you, what, you select to do that which is righteous. Righteousness, because righteousness exalts a nation. Yeah. Sin is a reproach to man. We don't look upon them and enough of them would have vexed and see you're gone bad already. Because you done dead already. Yeah. Gone from the mob to the cemetery. Because you're gone, but already. In a time like this, it would have suit a man for live up monks in Bridging. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Brother stab him with a knife and him lose him life and him life all over. The poor boy life all gone because him life all done. Music, music bigger than the teacher them. What, who is teaching what they teach them to teach, you know? Mm -hmm. I can't even bother blame the teacher them, you know, because they can't angle it. And I don't want to stray from the part where I'm there. The picnic, they them not have no parents, brethren. Yes. No parental guidance out there for this generation who is creating mayhem and havoc mm -hmm. within our society. Yeah? Because who know better do better. So, they need to teach them. They need to teach the people them. Well, every day you see, and the government can't do it. Let the church, hmm, hallelujah, uno can't do it. Uno can't do it because it's a business. You understand me? Theologically, it's not religion, it's spirituality, brethren. Yeah? Then the, we, we need to be more spiritual. Because the way where we are go about things and cry for the blood of Jesus and the blood of this and that, it's not working because blood do not cry for every day. So it looks like the blood of Jesus are run around here. Mm -hmm. Come on, wake up Jamaica, man. Wake up world, because it's not just a Jamaica system, you know. It's all in the plan. And, but may I say, God bless you, Winfred, because you have a platform where people watch you. But we have to try and save the youths. See of the children, brethren. Yeah? Yeah? Come on, no man. Look, look, look on this little stupid one the other day. Him kill a whole family. Look how the youth them decline young. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's wrong with these people? And every day, youth, if one of them sit me, I don't care. I talk to them out there and I run up and down and I fight and I shoot and I fire shot after one another. Sometimes one of us are wheel shot. We didn't have the same thing I live because we, we, we were victim of environments. Yeah? Where we too hold them tight and we separate so we don't learn for love. But Joe, would I choose we from out of the depths to tell us that we can't live so. Yeah? Education is the key, youths and youths. Mm -hmm. Get wise. No be dunce, don't be stupid. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, what time gonna care for one? Go sing, cause them leave them, them not them not make the message reach the kids them. You understand? The kind of song them where them play and, and them have this and them just constantly doing the same thing. Wait, study the music no man, like how we did study it, even though we get caught up as a victim of environments. I mean, I, I mean, I will call myself not much. I was a victim of environments. Mm -hmm. Because I live over here, so. You yeah, see me a PNP and you over there, so. You see, I live, right? So, we grew up in all of them system there. Where we have tribal wars and all mm -hmm. these nonsense. See? I get me get licked down off a bike, you know. Can I lick me off, you know. Vision me, vision for come tell the people them for make love and not make war, brethren. We never just do it. Because we know, mm -hmm. say, we have a spirit. And when we hold the mic and a chant, 
you just have to read re for to righteousness and you never have to write because you're a written book, you're a pen. You see all the people them go on and you tell them you no go on so chucky no go on so cause you know say chucky no lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And swords around there with them bucky. So you, you try to keep the youth them in a guidance. You hear me start? That's why we come to the point. Them need to educate the people them. Yes. Cause like we say, it was a part of it. Me have my mother, so she teach me love. Yeah? My mother did one at church. My father was all police. Mm -hmm. What it, community was it? What community huh? you grew up in? Me, 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 me born a line in, them call it Jubilee now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go to one near Water Street, because that's the from my birth service to get Ray Town. Yes. I'm going to move from there and go 132 matches lane. Because mm -hmm. my mother always has to go and rent a whole yard because she keep church. Because my mother go to school when the teacher tell me, straight say, if not in the sky, no, I'll Jerusalem. Then you used to tell me, say, in the sky. I mean, that's a teacher, you lie. Come, I love to read. Me read certain book, mm -hmm. read a digest. We take them all out of garbage pan for read them. Yeah. Yeah, my brethren, so things where them are hiding a tea tree colonially. We are opposed to that. They would have said me unruly. Yes. The radical. Yeah. So, in time, in time, in time, in time, I drop out of school. At them time, they may start go to school. Because I look at youth. As some okay. big man inspired ah. elders who well, know about Cumberland and all of them, judge and all these things. And Cumberland. Yeah, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, these are explorers. Yeah. Yeah? Henry Morgan, the first governor for Jamdong, you know. Yeah. We, 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 know all, we know all of these back of our shanty town thing. We know when the first set of Barracks built up in a trench town for them called government house. Cause if you watch it, a barracks when you go up on Cain Field, mm. them thing kind of house there. So, I them build them thing there and build the people them and have them poor and but them not educate them. That's why Jamal did come do something good because it makes some was really literate. Yeah. So it, and I know it, no, it saw it go. No for them people, Bridget, and no for the youths, them where they still continue doing foolishness. Yeah? Look on the road, Bridget. If you drive on the road, you have to try to take weapons from people. Mm -hmm. Or it's manslaughter, they may kill you. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like drive and gun, everything. We know about all of that, man. So we 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 not sing about that. That make you make money. We don't want that kind of money there. Big youth, sir. Yes. Thank yes. you very much, sir, for coming and sharing so much with us. Yeah. It's a pleasure to have you on our stage, sir. And we look forward to when you return. If you've never seen Big Youth perform, you need to be at this Stars or Us. <laughs> Stars are us. West Rock, Leroy Siblis, George Nooks, Ken Bowd. Yes. Derek Morgan. All those yes, foundation yes. yes, Yeah, yeah, yeah. A nice lady in the park. Yes. What a show. <laughs> and West Rock. So, a double attack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and that's our show for this week. Winford yeah. Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do, do join us again next week for more On Stage. And so blessed be all they that put their trust in the true and live in God, Jarastafari. Okay, this man shall be like the holy mountains of Zion that cannot be removed, but survive forever. So the mountains run about Iusi day. And so the Lord of God, Jarastafari, is running about to speak the diocese. The Lord of the wicked shall not rest upon this right God. Unless this individual righteous put forth his hands and do iniquity. So do good, O Lord, God, your Rastafari, and to them that are good, and unto those that are upright in their hearts. 
Cause this is when it's turning to his crooked way You don't say The Lord God to Rastafari shall not turn his back To give the count to the right of its people Come in now come here make it till you bow the sun you got a Bow the sun you got a satan masa come on now Take masa come on now Say you burn ya but you no harm ya Say you no man ya but you burn ya Thanks for watching our video Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.